Hello everyone. We're here with the latest updates from Manchester United this Sunday, and we've got some explosive news for you. Manchester United is caught up in several recent controversies. An incident at Old Trafford is under investigation due to alleged raw chicken being served during an event. Additionally, a player brought in for their skills has turned out to be a major disappointment, jeopardising the club's chances in the Champions League. A former player has been convicted of misusing a disabled parking permit, sparking criticism and controversy. Speculations are circulating about the departure of a £40 million acquired player. Lastly, the interest in a Benfica star for a sum that could reach £100 million indicates a potential pursuit for reinforcements. All this and more you can catch here on the channel. Let's go, folks. First things first, that always important request, smash the like button, if you're not subscribed yet, do so right now, and hit the bell icon to not miss any exclusive content we post daily. Let's dive into the first updates of the day on this Sunday morning. Manchester United investigated after raw chicken served at Old Trafford. Several individuals claimed to have fallen ill after consuming raw chicken at Old Trafford. Manchester United declined to comment on the matter. With slim chances of qualifying for the Champions League round of 16, Manchester United is enduring a turbulent period that has lasted for several seasons. Besides disappointing performances on the field, the Red Devils are grappling with off-field issues, such as the cases involving Jadon Sancho and Eric Ten Hag. To add insult to injury, a scandal erupted at Old Trafford this Friday, first. According to The Athletic, Manchester United is being investigated by the Trafford Council, after several people alleged falling ill from consuming raw chicken during an event held at the Red Devil Stadium. The club, which chose not to comment on the matter, has also launched an internal investigation to address complaints from attendees who participated in an event at Old Trafford in recent months. The exact nature of the event remains unknown. Symptoms of food poisoning include diarrhea, fever, stomach cramps, nausea, and vomiting. Salmonella, an infection associated with raw chicken, can even lead to hospitalization. The expectation is that both the councils and the club's investigations will examine whether the symptoms presented by the guests are linked to what they consumed within Old Trafford, or if other illnesses may have affected the visitors. Manchester United's food hygiene is listed as 5 very good on the UK government's website, the highest possible rating. However, the incident involving raw chicken could harm the Red Devils and Old Trafford. The annual inspection by the Food Standards Agency, FSA, was scheduled for October 23, but the club's rating has yet to be updated for the 2023 calendar. The FSA is an independent government department that aims to protect public health as its rating notes assess food handling, storage, preparation, and facility cleanliness. Businesses receiving low ratings from the UK Food Standards Agency must make urgent or significant improvements in hygiene standards. If there's an imminent risk to public health when food is deemed unfit for consumption, part of the business may be halted or even closed until it's safe to resume. It's worth noting that Manchester United generates substantial revenue by hosting events and providing hospitality, especially on match days at Old Trafford. If the food rating drops, it means the Red Devils would have to invest a significant amount to improve their protocols. Restoring a good rating could take a long time, potentially directly affecting the hospitality rates Manchester United can charge. The case involving raw chicken at the Red Devil Stadium has emerged amidst the likely £1.3 billion investment and Sir Jim Ratcliffe, expected to be confirmed in the coming weeks. Hired for his skill, Manchester United player turns disappointment and threatens Champions League dream. When Manchester United announced the signing of Andre Onana, Inter Milan's goalkeeper, for an astronomical fee of up to €55 million, Euros, expectations were high. The English club, seeking to revitalise its playing style after 12 years under the guidance of David de Gea, saw in the 27-year-old Onana the ideal profile for this shift. His ability with the ball at his feet was the main draw, but as the months passed, this choice began to raise doubts. 
Onana, from his disastrous debut in a friendly against Lens, where he conceded a goal from midfield, to his recent performances in the Champions League, has appeared less effective in his primary role, protecting the goal. His numbers are concerning, 16 goals conceded in the first 10 Premier League games, and in the Champions League, an even weaker performance with 14 goals conceded in just 5 games, leaving United with the tournament's second-worst defence, only behind Antwerp. Manchester United's situation in the Champions League has become critical. After a 3-3 draw with Galatasaray, where Onana had a questionable performance, the club now finds itself relying on a miracle to advance to the round of 16. They not only need to win against Bayern Munich in their final group game, but also hope that the match between Galatasaray and Copenhagen ends in a draw. This journey has been a source of frustration for both fans and critics of the club. The signing, initially seen as a strategic and promising move by manager Eric Ten Hag, now raises questions about the balance between technical ability and defensive competence for a goalkeeper. After all, a goalkeeper's main task is to prevent the ball from entering the goal, and in this aspect, Onana is falling short. Onana, who had previously excelled at Inter Milan with Supercoppa Italiana and Coppa Italia titles, as well as a Champions League runner-up finish, is facing a significant challenge in his new home. His ability with the ball might have been a decisive factor in his signing, but ultimately, it will be his performance between the posts that determines his legacy at Manchester United. Ravel Morrison, a player developed at Manchester United, was, this Friday, convicted of fraud after being caught using a parking permit for disabled people that belonged to a deceased individual. The incident unfolded when a parking attendant noticed a white Audi parked in Manchester City Centre, with a permit dated May 2022. Upon checking records, it was found that the vehicle belonged to the forward, who currently plays for DC United, with the permit in another person's name. According to information reported by the British newspaper Mirror, the 30-year-old athlete paid the corresponding fine and retrieved the car on the same day. Later, he pleaded guilty, admitting that he had bought the permit from someone at Old Trafford. As a result, Ravel Morrison was fined £1,000, €1,170, and ordered to pay court costs totalling £508.32, pence, €582.94, as well as compensation of £400. Ten Hag confirms. It cost £40 million and he is leaving Manchester United. The Red Devils coach admits he won't oppose Van der Beek's goodbye. Eric Ten Hag confirmed this Friday, during the press conference ahead of the match against Newcastle, that he will not create any obstacles to Donny van der Beek's departure from Manchester United during the winter transfer window. I think Donny needs to play. In the games he was involved with the team, he had opportunities. It was a slow start to the season because he was still recovering from physical problems. But now he's back and has been performing very well in training, so if I can't offer him expectations, he needs to play for the sake of his career, he said. The Dutch international, remember, arrived at Old Trafford in the summer of 2020 from Ajax for a fee around 40 million euros. However, after more than three years, he's still struggling to establish himself. Following a loan spell at Everton, the 26-year-old midfielder had a new chance to prove himself at the service of the Red Devils. However, in the current season, he has only participated in two games, totaling 21 minutes, and now he's getting ready for a definitive goodbye. Antonio Silva is of interest to Manchester United and the deal could reach 100 million euros. The Portuguese international has been linked by the British press to the Red Devils, and the sale might indeed be closed for the value of his release clause, 100 million euros. Portuguese international Antonio Silva is on Manchester United's priority list. The Benfica centre-back has long been under observation, and the deal could be finalised at the end of the season. Two out of the four centre-backs at the Red Devils are expected to leave. Victor Lindelof and Johnny Evans' contracts expire next year. At 20 years old, Antonio Silva is the main target for the English club in the summer, and the English press suggests that United, which has for centre-backs in their 30s, 
might trigger the 100 million euro release clause. Goncalo Inosio, from Sporting CP, has also been linked to English football. So that's it, folks. Thank you for your attention. I'll see you in the next video with more updates. Until then, goodbye.